What's up, Fratcom? It's your boy Muhammad from the channel Mr. Top 10 Cents. And today, I'm gonna give you guys a comparison between the hyped fragrance Parfums de Marley Layton and the up and coming clone house of Alexandria, Royal Equestrian. Now, I stumbled across the house from, of course, you know, YouTube reviews and and uh, going online because I wanted to find a clone, a cheaper version of Aventus, believe it or not. But I got my hands on this Layton Decant, the original Layton Decant. I got it from Mr. Max 40. Shout out to him. You guys need to go check him out. Beautiful prices, always competitive, uh, great customer service. But and you also get this little travel itemizer case which is pretty neat to me and I got this little sample of Royal Equestrian which is supposed to be the clone or the impression of Layton and uh, I contacted Mr. Uh, Hani Hafiz from Alexandria told him I was starting a new YouTube channel and I wanted to try some of his fragrances out so he sent me some samples seven samples to be exact now I already have this have this about two hours ago the Royal Equestrian but I'm gonna spray it freshly over here let's go all right and uh, same thing with Parfums de Marley Layton about two hours ago I'm gonna spray it one more time over here all right now the notes for this up top you got your citruses on the mid you have your florals and on the bottom you got some spices and some woods so up top you got your lavender your bergamot your apple and your mandarin orange in the mid you got your florals which is the jasmine the violet and I don't remember the third thing so uh, on the bottom you got your sandalwood your other woods you got your vanilla you got your cardamom you got your pepper you got your patchouli so first smell you could smell the citruses real fruity and fresh this one is a little more piercing it's kind of like Versace Mano Fresh that piercing citrus that you get in the beginning that's I mean, it smells identical. It just it got that piercing citrus up top. Now the dry down. To be honest with you, I can't tell the difference. To me, I can't tell the difference. Which now you're gonna get this citrus up top. It's gonna be smelling like this for about 30 to 40 minutes until it starts drying down. So if you don't have the means to buy Parfums de Marley Layton for retail of 290 for 125 mil, and you just wanna get something that's similar to it that a lot of people are not gonna know the difference of, smelling it in the air, Alexandria Royal Equestrian. Now guys, this is not a cheapie. This is just a cheaper version. This, $40 for 30 mil, $40 for 30 mil, $60 for 60 mil. That means if you wanted to get 125 mil on roughly it's gonna cost you about hundred and thirty dollars You could find this on discounters for hundred and seventy dollars So it's not that much of a difference where you would say this is just a cheapie No, it is pretty pricey, but it's a cheaper than this and to believe believe it or not. I kind of like this better I really do think I like this better because I like the citrus. I like the Versace Mano Fraiche. I mean, I really like it, you know? I'm gonna, of course, which I already ordered it from Mr. Max 40, the bottle of Layton. He gave me the best deal I could find. And uh, the reason I ordered it is because I like the bottle and I just want to say I have it and I'm a collector. But if you don't care about all that and you just want something that smells like this and don't want to go crazy with your money, I really, really suggest Royal Equestrian by Alexandria Fragrance. I'm gonna go ahead and link below Alexandria's website where you guys could buy this. And I'm also gonna link below where you could get this from Mr. Max 40's website. So that was the comparison between Parfums de Marley Layton and Royal Equestrian. This is my first video on this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment below, tell me if you guys have tried these two and what do they smell like to you? Do they smell the same? Do they smell different? Do you like one or the other better? And please give me some feedback on how I did. I always wanna 
uh, grow. I want to get better. I'm here for the wrong, long run. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully you can follow me throughout my fragrance journey. I'll catch you with another video. Peace.